फ्रेंड्स हम डॉक्टर नितिन ढेपे किरायड स्पेशलिस्ट स्किन सिटी सुपर स्पेशलिटी लेजर इंस्टीट्यूट टुडे विल सी व्हाट इज द किलोइड स्टेबिलाइजेशन एंड व्हाट आर द ट्रिगर फैक्टर्स इन द किलोइड किलोइड इज अ स्प्रेडिंग कंडीशन सो इट्स अ स्प्रेडिंग स्कार एनी इंजुरी बॉडी हिल्स विथ अ स्कार इट डिपोजिट्स अ कोलेजन but some people they have defect in the healing mechanism so for a small wound body keeps on depositing more and more and more collagen that is really killed so and this deposition is not limited to the area of initial wound it keeps on depositing the collagen in the adjacent area so it grows wider and wider and wider so this spread we need to stop it's very difficult to stop the spread with the creams or tablets or injections or even with the machines or sprays and the lasers so if we can stop that spread of the keloid and make it flat that is called as stabilization and once you stabilize stop the growth of the keloid that should stay stabilized for next couple of months couple of years so various treatment have a different rates of stabilization previous treatments say using a creams then we classify good creams and the bad creams if you use a steroid this bad cream has very short stabilization rate the keloid becomes little bit flat better and soon it starts growing again back and you can get a new keloid in the periphery why steroid creams will induce new pimples hair root infection there's folliculitis and you get a new keloid instead the silicone are better injection again will cause a new infection nucleoid we have seen that in the last video so the stabilization rate of all the older treatment like the steroid creams steroid injections surgery all that an average success rate average stability rate was around 12 to 15% so one or two out of the 10 they get better with this treatment and more than 80% of the patient more than 8 out of the 10 they start growing the keloid back even it is grows much worse so the stability rate of all the old treatments was less than 20% is 12 to 15% now the newer protocols where we combine good lasers which modify the collagen we combine the keloid chemotherapy we combine the good creams maybe some other good practices and management of the trigger factors all this together gives a excellent stability rate in our study in skin city with our experience of last say around since 2008 we have designed a combination protocol using all this treatment modalities where stability rate is around 60 to 70% so all the older treatment only one or two out of the 10 they get better with the treatment in our combination laser protocol 6 to 7 out of the 10 they get better they become flat and they remain stable they doesn't grow back early so it is a much better treatment it's a much more effective treatment but still it is not 100% because there is a lot of research still has to happen in the keloid we really exactly don't know what it is exact trigger what exact mechanism so there is lot of research already going on all over the world so whatever the small research what we made we could achieve a stability rate of 60 70% in our study so combination treatment is effective it is much more effective than whatever the old treatment what we use like the sprays and the laser and the injections and the creams and the tablets so this combination laser protocol is a much better effective it has a much higher stability rate but still it is far from the 100% or any magic or miracle so friends if you have a realistic expectation you really understand what is possible with the treatment and what is not possible with the treatment so this laser combination protocol is a very effective treatment and much better treatment may come in the future thank you very much